Hey, hi friends. Welcome back to our automation lab once again. And uh, let's continue this session related to the extend reports. In previous session, we have learned how to uh, add the node child uh, for your page models. Okay, if is required or your project is more big, then you can use this uh, concept like add to node, node uh, or child nodes to your uh, extend reports. Okay. Now in this video, let's learn whenever our script get failed, we have to add some screenshot. Like we are capturing screenshots. We have to capture the screenshots and we have to add that screenshot in the uh, extend report okay in here so here test case 2 is executed first test case 1 is executed second so you can set the priority like this okay priority 1 and priority 2 so that uh, in bracket of your test so that it will executed uh, the priority 1 test case first and priority 2 test case second okay so let's run this test and see whether our login should be executed first now because this is home page about is uh, on the second priority now. Let's run it. Yeah, login is executed first. And then the second test case about is executed second. Now let's open report and uh, see whether our output is correct. Now. Yes, login is executed first and home page about link is executed second. Test case. So now uh, if our test get fail, okay, so how to add the screenshots? Okay, so to add the screenshots, we need to use the time stamp. So that uh, exactly what time our test case get failed. Uh, and if you not given the timestamp in your, uh, like uh, whenever we capture the screenshots, then what happened? Uh, our team screenshot get overwritten. Okay. So what we can do, we have to create one folder uh, inside our project. So I will go to new and here we can add folder name with screenshots. Okay. And inside that screenshot folder, let's add a uh, captured screenshots. Okay, so we'll create one method name at capture screenshots. So we can create a method like public, let's say string capture screenshot. and uh, uh, we need to require to add written type so that we'll add that one uh, let's create a one file um, name it screenshot is equal to you can write like uh, take screenshot as the method okay take screenshot and um, we can pass the driver as object there okay driver uh, dot get screenshot okay driver dot get screenshot i think uh, we missed the bracket here okay let's add that bracket let's see now dot get screenshot yeah get screenshot as output right and uh, here we can define as output output type um, dot we can define as a file okay perfect let's import this file or on it and import file from java io and uh, take screenshot okay so this is the one line code to take a screenshot after that let's say timestamp for our screenshot so that our screenshot will get with uh, save with the new name uh, every time so we can define like a string time stamp is equal to we can define new simple date format okay so simple date format And we can define as a let's say y y y then in capital mm and dd and uh, underscore h h m m s s okay this is the standard format dot format and let's set object as a new date get semicolon and close this one okay uh, just hold on this and import this date from java it now we have done this uh, timestamp as well now let's save our screenshot on given our screenshot folder path right 
now save our screenshot on given our screenshot folder path okay so for that now type string let's say screenshot path is equal to we can give the system dot global path dot git property and inside that we can type like a user directory user dot dir to get global path and after that plus in bracket here slash all screenshots folder you can give the name as it is all screenshots okay and after that let's give one comma uh, uh let's give one co uh, like timestamp as a path okay timestamp in short timestamp we can write here as a fail as well let's do that one fail or pass if you want to take a screenshot uh, in both conditions so not uh, no don't write the fail statement here if you want to take uh, the screenshot in the only fail statement then you can write a uh, fail as well okay so plus we can directly give dot png simple so same comma dot png okay so it will save the screenshot with this in this screenshot folder with uh, this timestamp name and dot png okay inside this uh, folder path simple with our current sign time now what we have to do let's uh, go to file destination so we need to add the, our file destination for this your screenshot folder so let's type file and we can give destination let's say destination is equal to new and we can type file and we require to give this path in the destination screenshot path okay after that let's uh, create file utils file utils because if you not find this file utils uh, check our pom.xml where we have added uh, that particular library okay selenium uh, this one selenium let's say selenium 25 okay and test ng this both library inside that we have if you have latest version of selenium you can easily find out this particular uh, file utils library okay so now let's add that one file utils dot we can copy that particular uh, screenshot into source from the destination you can simple type copy so here we can directory source directory and destination directory so source directory about our screenshot is this is our screenshot uh, from this file screenshot and the destination of the uh, directory is destination so both are highlighted here just hold on it and uh, import the source declarations okay so this is our screenshot we'll add here and destination which is defined here which is added here okay so now return the absolute path our screenshot okay in this method so that we can use that one in our script so we can type destination dot get absolute path okay easy so this is the method we have created to capture the screenshot and it will return the destination of our screenshot uh screenshot which we have taken okay now we need to add that screenshot in our uh like fail condition if you want to add in our fail condition then you can add it in the fill condition let's say we will add here okay for in this test case you have to practice for another test case okay i will show you to how to add in one test case so now we have to add this our screenshot capture uh, to our fail test cases okay whenever you want to add the screenshots in your extended report you can just call this method okay so if you want to take a screenshot on anywhere in your script in, if you want to take in past condition you can add in past but the most common it will use it into the fail conditions so we'll add this screenshot in our script whenever our script get failed so how to that uh, how to add that so here i will show you in the second test case how to add in the fail condition our screenshot you have to practice for the first one uh, test case as well okay so let's create one string let's say screenshot uh, path we can define like a path is equal to we can capture in short we have to check that method okay just throw this io exception if you get the any exception here okay 
and uh, we have to pass this screenshot uh, here let's say if i remove this exception i think we will get that exception here on the screenshot yes so we have to declare throw this one okay now let's uh, add one plus here okay and add that screenshot in our extend report so add one plus and uh, within one html syntax with we have to give the one link uh, to open that screenshot and also we have to attach that uh, screen as well there so let's create a plus we can define as a one br for that in bracket let's say br okay and after that let's start with a and we let's define one href to show in the link format okay so href is equal to and just complete this one now uh, let's add this one with plus and define like a screenshot of path okay this is the variable we are calling right after that let's add one plus and double inverted comma inside that let's open one uh, let's say target okay and uh, inside uh, to, for the target we can define like a uh, one blank target blank and uh, let's close this blank view okay let's close this blank and we can define as a view screenshot as a name short okay and let's close that a slash a okay now after this uh, bracket close dot add screenshot capture path okay and now let's pass this screenshot path there simple so this is the how we can add this in html format in our extended report so we have to set up one href to link uh, with the name of screenshot and uh, view screenshot and when we click on that view screenshot it will show you uh, the field screenshot for to showing this screenshot in our extent report i'm uh, like uh, manually failing this script okay i'm changing this expected result to with the space remove with the space and uh, i want to fail this test case so it will capture the screenshot and show in your extent report currently there is no screenshot showing here right okay so this uh, second test case should be failed and it should be add one screenshot here now let's run this program and see whether we are able to execute our uh, uh, test case uh, properly or not and whether we are able to add our screenshot when our second test case get failed okay so be, but before running this let's change this copy director to copy file by default uh, by mistake we have added as a copy directory we need to change it as a copy file right so that's one now let's run our uh, test case and see whether we are able to add screenshot in our script or not Okay, so previously we have created one screenshot here okay next time it should be created uh, another screenshot with the timestamp let's refresh our uh, older screenshot folder and here we have two screenshot now in the screenshot folder okay so we have created successfully create create captured the screenshot on test case fail and uh, let's see whether we are able to add that one to our extend report or not let's open extend report and here we go we have first test case passed successfully and second test case we have captured a screenshot and here we are also html tag with uh, view screenshot link right so and this is our captured screenshot so this is the way we can add a screenshot in our this uh, extend report with the timestamp and uh, view screenshot link is a html tags okay the target view screenshot so this is uh, how we can add the screenshot and uh, if you have any question related to this guys you can simply ask me i will comment out i will answer your all the questions and queries and practice to our uh, second first test case as well try to add the screenshot here right so i will teach about the expected exit is result so let's meet in next chapter uh, with the more concept related to the extended report till time have a great day bye bye take care